Prime Minister Modi is all set to launch the BJP's poll campaign in Delhi tomorrow in what is perhaps the most critical assembly election since the Lok Sabha polls last May. The election commission is in fact expected to announce the poll dates either tomorrow or on Monday with indications that the election will be in about a month from now. The BJP is not declaring a chief ministerial candidate relying on the Modi magic to see them through. For Arvind Kejriwal and the AAP, the polls represent a test of whether they remain a potent political force, especially after the 49-day fiasco. Ahead of the PM's rally tomorrow, the AAP also launched a Twitter campaign today asking people about their expectations from the Prime Minister. But the question also is whether the Delhi elections are a referendum for the centre. We have Atisi Marena of the, the Aam Aadmi Party joining us after a very long time on left, right and centre tonight. Aarti Jarat here in the studio with us. Ragini Nayak, spokesperson of the Delhi Congress, will also be joined by Sanjay Kaul. <laughs> of the BJP shortly. I apologize uh, for, for that audio mishap. Let me take this to Aarti first. Who, why is this election so critical this time? Is it because, in a sense, you've had the center ruling Delhi now for so long that this will also reflect on the Modi government at the center? Part one. Well, you know, the BJP, by hyping up uh, this election, has made it into a Modi versus Kejriwal contest. You know, there's nobody else on the BJP's uh, campaign posters except Modi himself. And of course, Arvind Kejriwal is the chief, uh, you know, sort of uh, rival. So, you know, it's become prime minister versus chief minister. So, you know, I mean, Modi has staked everything. Now, look at it. Suppose, just suppose, Kejriwal actually pulls this off. Look at the huge blow to Modi. You know, and all of us will be on TV that day, you know, sort of going on and on about, you know, has the Modi, Modi magic faded? You're saying they're taking a big risk. It's a huge risk. I mean, but that's the way he plays. He's just a huge gambler. And, and he is certainly taking a big risk because he's taking his personal reputation on what is, after all, a really small state assembly. You know, Delhi is not even a But it's a state. small state assembly, Atishi, that also has, you know, major, uh, I mean, what this result will do will have, will have a major impact on, on the center, uh, on, on the way people look at the BJP. And certainly, I'm sure you would concede on Arvind Kejriwal and AAP's future. Uh, would you say that this election, in a sense, is make or break for whether AAP continues to remain politically relevant? I think the political relevance of AAP doesn't have to do with Delhi. It has to do with the entire political establishment right now. Why is it that AAP came into being? Aam Aadmi Party came into being because the politics of this country, the political parties of this country weren't representing the interests of the common man. They were both, both political parties, Congress and the BJP, were representing the interests of big corporates who were actually giving them election funding. And then we saw the kind of corruption that came thereafter. This is the reason that has created the space for the Aam Aadmi Party. And that space is going to remain in the entire political system till this political system starts working for the common man of this country. Having said that, I don't think that this election in any way is going to change things for the Aam Aadmi Party because things on the ground are working extremely strongly in our favor and we are likely to come back in power. Well, what, what's interesting in all of this is, uh, Ragini Nayak, is uh, people are not talking about the Congress as a serious contender. Uh, and, and maybe that's unfair until, until the results are out. But does that worry you that you know, the people seem to be dismissing the Congress so soon before the election? Nidhi, it's not the people, but both the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party, which is undermining the impact and connect of the Congress Party. And this does not affect the morale of the Congress Party at all. Let me just tell you that once bitten, twice shy, the people of Delhi have actually come to this realization that selling of dreams cannot be an incessant, interminable activity. At some point in time, both the BJP who ruled, uh, who has been ruling Delhi for the last seven months and the Aam Aadmi Party which had ruled Delhi for 49 days should have begun materialization of those dreams and fulfillment of those promises which they had made to the people of Delhi during their election rallies and also in their election manifesto but on all the major grounds, both the parties actually fell flat on their faces. If we talk about the Aam Aadmi Party in the 49 days, what we essentially saw was gimmickry, drama, anarchy, U-turn on the major issues like Jan Lokpal Bill, which was pivotal, which was the foundational premise for which this party emerged. And at this point in time, they're not even talking about Jan Lokpal Bill anywhere. Also on corruption, also on women's security, also on the VIP culture that they wanted to reduce. All that has been eliminated from the memory of the Aam Aadmi Party. They have new issues now because most of the times they, they take up an issue, 
get political mileage out of it and leave it in the but, middle. But that Ragini, is how Sheila Kejriwal Dixit says if it's a fractured mandate, left. the Congress will support the AAP. So you disagree with Sheila Dixit's uh, statements yesterday? See, if you listen to the entire uh, segment, entire chunk of, of the interview which uh, she gave, in which she talked about this um, this arrangement between Congress Party and the BJP, and if you'll take it, uh, I'm sorry, Ahmadmi Party in the Congress, and if you'll take it in the right context, I think what she meant was if need be, Ahmadmi Party and Congress can probably go and hand in hand once again. But let me remind that this yeah, was but I mean, you're saying that before opinion, it and the party party differs from that. Yeah, I part, mean, as part, Atishi part says, that in a sense, that. it sounds like the uh, Congress has given up even before you fought the battle. It's a that was a pretty uh, damaging comment in a way. Nidhi, it's almost like a signal to you I'm know sorry, Congress Ati, voters that why don't Atishi. you vote for Amadmi yeah. Party? Is that uh, Ragini quickly before I get to Sanjay call of the BJP? Yes, yes, yes. You, you see, there is a theory in linguistics which says every interpretation is a misinterpretation. Atishi, she will look for her own political advantage and construe the meaning of this particular um, um, uh, comment by uh, Srimati Sheila Dixit in a particular fashion. I would see it as a possibility in politics. It is not as if she is saying that this is going to happen. Later on in the interview, she also qualifies it by saying that she is very hopeful that the, the, the Congress party is going to emerge as a major stakeholder uh, in, Delhi, in the de upcoming Delhi elections. So things should not be quoted out yes. of context just for political My gains. My colleague Ragini is making a rather brave defense of Congress's attempts to remain politically relevant. No, but I no, think there, anyone, there is no need anyone for a brave defense. Anyone who is on the ground today Anyone who's seeing the elections in Delhi does know the fact that it's a straight fight between the Ahmadmi Party and the BJP. But let me ask and Sanjay today, Kaul on that. Is really nowhere I'm to be sorry, Ra Ragini, one second, one second. Come back to you. Let me just get Sanjay Call. Sanjay Call stuck in a traffic jam, so he's joining us on the phone line. Sanjay Call, the point that Arti Jarat was making earlier was that is the BJP taking a tremendous risk in a sense by making this about Mr. Modi versus Arvind Kejriwal? Because you're not saying that officially, obviously, but he is going to be your face. Uh, in, in this campaign, your biggest face in this campaign versus Arvind Kejriwal. Is that a risky strategy? No, on the contrary, that is a strategy that has worked for us uh, right from uh, May onwards and it continues to work for us. Number one. Number two, it's not about pitting him against somebody else. I mean, uh, obviously we are not looking at, uh, at the other party and their interests. Unlike some other parties who are very interested in nominating our chief ministers, my, our, our larger uh, game plan remains this that we will move into this election in exactly the same fashion as we have done, for instance, in Jharkhand and the other states that we have had tremendous success. The same formula, the same basis will continue to work for us. This, Mr. Modi is a force to reckon with. He, is, uh, he, is, he has created a momentum for the BJP that has been unprecedented. We will naturally would like to exploit the same advantages. And, uh, th and that explains, in fact, to, that, to, to the... Uh, uh, you know, why we have not bothered to even look at smaller icons or try and present somebody else at this point in time. But Sanjay Kaul, is it also, would you concede, going to be in a sense a referendum on the way the central government has done in Delhi over the past seven months? Because this is the national capital. Do you think that when people vote, they will also be in a sense voting for how the Modi government has performed at the centre? Well, you know, Delhi has been... Uh, Delhi always had that issue if you if you uh, if you analyze the uh, you know the, the behavior patterns from earlier. But you also do realize that at this point in time, if you were to analyze the number of years of uh, the 15 years of Congress rule and the one year, uh, the last one year of chaos and confusion that was caused by the Amati Party and its shenanigans with the Congress, the fact is that 16 years have passed and people in Delhi are really asking the same questions they asked 16 years before. So the, the, the only people answerable today are basically the Ahmadi Party and the Congress Party.